continues uh, the fly around that will take Atlantis to a point about 645 or so feet directly above the International Space Station a short time from now, then to a point uh, behind the station for the first of two firings of reaction control system jets in a two-step separation maneuver that will enable Atlantis to depart the station for the final time. The first of these two burns uh, scheduled about 15 and a half minutes from now. In the uh, space station flight control room, the uh, power systems officer has uh, reported and is keeping flight director Jerry Jason updated on the temperatures on the uh, longerons of the solar rays, the struts, if you will. The uh, temperatures are still holding in, looking uh, acceptable. No uh, issues at the moment. As Atlantis uh, continues its fly around, Once uh, the separation maneuver is uh, executed by Doug Hurley uh, to enable Atlantis uh, to depart the station, then uh, the International Space Station will be maneuvered back into its normal orientation for operations. Sandy Magnus and Rex Walheim are equipped uh, with a variety of digital cameras and high-powered lenses. Uh, they are documenting uh, the uh, exterior of the International Space Station at this unique view where the longitudinal axis of the station is being presented to them thanks to this 90 degree yaw maneuver. Almost, almost directly above the International Space Station. You can see uh, the varying views, uh, the solar rays that are angled uh, through the beta gimbal assemblies uh, to optimize uh, solar array uh, absorption of sunlight uh, to be converted into electricity.